Hey guys, it is Alexis and Lillian and we are back in Toronto cold gray Toronto But it's fine because it's nice to have our own place again and feel cozy. We're in a blanket right now Because <laughs> it's hella cold today. We're gonna do another video in our queer dating series this time not as fun as other ones because it's 10 signs that she's not into you. So of course it's always good to hear how do I know she's into me, how do I know she's flirting with me, but sometimes you just need to know when she's not into you. And like it doesn't have to be a negative thing because sometimes you just need to know for sure okay she's not into me so that you can just accept that and move on to the next person. Yeah someone that you're actually a good match with and someone that's actually worthy of you because you don't want to be chasing someone yeah you don't want to be wasting your precious time by the way if you're new here and you're all about that queer content dating advice please subscribe and those of you who are already subscribed make sure that you're also hitting the bell button so that you get notifications every time we have a new video because we just checked and only 15 percent of you have that bell button click yeah so what the hell you're gonna miss out i thought we were friends <laughs> But let's get started. 10 signs she's not into you. I've had to figure this out and it was a hard thing to accept. Have you ever had someone not like you? Because I feel like Alexis is always getting everyone. Oh, see, she's thinking about it. What the hell? <laughs> Don't feel bad. Hey, guys. No, like, no, I'm, no. Just, I'm just like you and she's okay. like some superhuman. No, I'm definitely not a superhuman. Yeah, of course I've had people, but normally it was because they're like unavailable because they had a girlfriend or boyfriend. Excuses. Excuses. Okay, no. so we can all make ourselves feel better. If, uh, there you go. Before we jump into these, it can be kind of hard sometimes to figure out if someone likes you or not because it can be a bit ambiguous. People have different personalities. Some people are shy. Some people are trying to play games. Mm -hmm. Other people are actually really busy and things like that. So there's always sort of a thin line. But I would say if the majority of these apply, then it's a pretty clear sign that she's not into you. Hit it. So sign number one that she's not into you when she never keeps the conversation going It could be always you asking the questions and only if like getting one word answers getting hardly any answers at all and Pretty much no questions to keep the conversation going, you know, it feels like you constantly have to be the one to put in the effort and like If she likes you, she's gonna want to talk to you. Of course um texting especially if she has like her red receipt on and you just see like red 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 sorry so when you're just starting to get to know someone or when you're like interested in someone chances are you're texting with them and if you don't get a response or you barely get a response or you have to wait really really long to get that response and always like follow up like hey so what do you think blah 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 sure sometimes they're busy sometimes they're trying to make you wait but if this keeps happening and you're always the one chasing up and they just sort of go quiet and seem to forget about you She doesn't like you. Yeah, she's not into you But yeah, and if she does text you back and it's like a one-word answer Flaky flake I've been there being really excited about a date and then like the morning of oh, sorry something came up can't make it I hate that. And then sometimes you're like, okay, well, it's something legitimate, you know, you try to make excuses for them as well because you like them and you're like, it can't be me, it must be something else. But if she's always flaky, like she's probably not interested because if she really liked you, she would want to see you and she would make an effort. She has to take care of someone's dog, she's not feeling well. I call bullshit. Yeah. Sorry. She doesn't pay attention to you. So if you're having a conversation, if you're actually having a conversation, she's bored, she's looking up, like doing something else, she's texting someone. Um, that's kind of like borderline rude. So I don't know. <laughs> Those are just like very, yeah, flashing red lights, like no, no, no. I'm not into you. So if you tell them something, for example, what your plans are for the weekend or something like that, and then she seems to have forgotten all about it, she wasn't paying attention, she's clearly not that interested. If she's into you, she's gonna pay attention. And keep attention. <laughs> yes. If she only wants to hang out with you in a group setting, so it seems that you're never alone, so it's never a date with just the two of you, but it's always like, oh yeah, like Cassie's gonna tag along as well, and things like that, then it's like, 
she probably doesn't like you and she just wants to friend zone you in that way that's a pretty good trick that i've used when yeah. i was like oh this person keeps inviting me out but like I like them, but not more than just a friend or something like that, then I would invite other people to sort of make it clear like, hey, I like you, but not in that way. Because I if like, I did like, like you, exactly, then I would be like, I want to be alone with you so that, you know, things can happen. The next one, she mentions that she likes other people. Yeah. Well. Oh, that one that yeah. one says it like so if you have a crush on someone and you're hanging out with them and they keep talking about like oh you know this person's really cute oh i really like that other girl something like that don't mistake it for them trying to make you jealous that can sometimes happen people can do that and like not cool because i don't like mind games but a lot of the time it's like okay they're into someone else they're not into you because if they were into you they would kind of not lead the conversation in that sort of way. True. Um, so this can also be a subtle way for her to let you know that she's not interested. You know, some people, they don't want to be rude. They don't want to tell you flat out, hey, I noticed that you have a crush on me. Sorry, I'm not interested. So they might be like, oh, you know, Rebecca's looking pretty cute today. I was thinking of asking her on a date. And then you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm so hurt. But then you know that you can move on. So, hold on, I didn't even know that was on our list. <laughs> this is on our list because I have experienced this. This okay. is when people give you mixed signals, you know? Like she's flirting with you and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, she likes me. And then however you're noticing, fuck, she's doing this with everyone. Mm. This is a certain kind of person that likes attention a lot. And yes, this can also be straight girls. You're thinking, okay, maybe she likes me or something like that. But guess what? She knows you're into girls and she just likes your attention. Mm -hmm. So look around, see how she's treating other people. If she's giving you the special treatment and she's only flirting with you, okay. You know, she might like, like Test you. the waters, That's test good. the waters. But if she's literally like with everyone here and there, she just likes the validation, she likes the attention, she likes to feel desired, and she just likes the game of it. Mm -hmm. Another sign that she's not into you is that she's straight. Many of us have been there. You're not alone in this, but straight girls can play games. And it is easy to think, or maybe they're not even playing games. But sometimes it's easy to think, you know, maybe I have a chance with her, maybe she's actually bi, maybe she just hasn't come out of the closet yet, maybe I'm bringing this out of her. Can be, has also happened. But you know, if she's straight, if she's only been with guys, if she talks about guys, but gives you little bits here and there, or if you're just maybe just very infatuated with her and that you can't see it, if she's straight, she's probably not into you at least not in a serious way if you're watching this straight you do that mm -mm. Mm -mm. queer girls have hearts yeah and they're fragile and they break too you know <laughs> Jeez. if she's bi that's a different story and if she's only bi curious when she's drunk well she's still straight still straight bi curious ain't the same as bisexual remember that people The most unfortunate is when she comes to you and she says, Hey, I'm not into you. Sorry. <laughs> Which is good because at least she's being straight up, right? Yeah. And she's not playing games with you. So if she tells you, then she's not into you. Like I've had some of you message me being like, you know, like this girl does this and this and that. So I think she likes me. She told me she doesn't, but... Mm. There is no but. Like, if she tells you, she doesn't like you. Yeah. If someone tells you something verbally, it's pretty unambiguous, and then you should just take it for that. All right, That's we're done right here. <laughs> um, just the bonus one oh. that we were talking about. I mean, it's the age of social media, guys. Let's be real. How many of you are mainly interacting with your crush on like Instagram and other apps? She unfollows you. She don't like you. <laughs> if there's no engagement, she may just be overthinking it because a lot of us are like, oh, I don't want to like too many of her pictures and stuff like that. But I'm if she's so into bad you, at that. I'm just like, I like you. Like, like, yeah, like, she's like, 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 like an like. open book. But um, 
a good way of flirting nowadays is if you like respond to their stories and like their pictures and message them and tag them in memes and things like that, right? If they don't do any of this while you're doing it or if they do it with other people, it might be that she doesn't like you. Okay, wait, I have a bonus one. Second, another... second bonus. Um, it is when she doesn't try to make an effort to look good for you. Because if you want to impress someone, you know, they're gonna be like putting on a cute outfit or just like paying attention to the way they do their hair or something like that. And if they don't really want to impress you, then they might not give a damn. Uh, I always give a damn. Uh, you give too much of a damn. If she doesn't like you, don't stress. There's so many cute fish in the sea. And yeah, you don't want to waste your time, right? Exactly. So oh. just move on to the next person and you're gonna find someone that is crazy about you don't waste your time on anyone who's not worth your time exactly yeah that's the thing too like if they're not into you that should just be like the prime reason why you aren't into them you know you know what i mean i know it's easier said than done but that's like one thing that i do when someone's not into me i'm just like you know what you're not into me i'm better than that Bye bye and let us know if you want us to make a video on how to get over someone. Ooh. We hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I mean, maybe not enjoyed, but maybe it was useful, you know? <laughs> uh, don't squish my sorry, face. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are, if you have any extra tips, if you have any questions. We're all ears. Again, remember to subscribe and please give this video a like and leave a comment because the support really helps us. Yeah, it really does. And it helps us like make more videos and get equipment. And we just got this brand new light. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah. So that really helps us. <laughs> All right, we shall see you at the next one. See you at the next one. Spread love, peace and joy. Cheers. Cheers.